Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and uh, this is the fifth part for React, Redux, and Saga series. Here we will talk about actions. So uh, first of all, we will go with this theoretical part. Then we'll jump on diagram. I will tell you that how can data flow actually in uh, React to action to uh, Redux, and uh, then we will jump on the uh, practical part. Uh, you can see that coding example and all, right? So. Uh, what we are going to learn in this part uh, i will tell you what are the actions in redux how we can make them actions how we can call them from uh, view part or uh, on a button click right and at last we will discuss some important interview questions also let's start with the first question what is action see action is actions are just plain javascript functions like we can just create a function keyword then we can put the function name and we can return uh, something right so they are just plain javascript function nothing magical here but when we call them we can call directly like just call a function name we have to call with the specific uh, hooks that are provided with the uh, redux right and what is the use of these actions see send the data from react js to uh, redux so is there any another way to send the data uh, from react to redux uh, no actually without actions we cannot send data from react to redux so why we need to send this data you might have questioned that see uh, the purpose of redux is uh, just send the data from one component to another component inside the react js application that is pretty simple and i know that you are aware about that question but how we can send data from one component to another component first of all we have to send this data to the redux then we can move this data to the another component right so that actions will help us to send data from react js to uh, redux and selectors are help us get data from uh, redux to react js i will come to that part also in upcoming video but now we will just uh, talking about actions all right so now what will do uh, what action will do with this data it will pass this data to the reducer even if you want to apply some logic like you want to apply some uh, uh, business logic you want to apply some discount you want to multiply it or you want to uh, apply any kind of logic right you can also do with the uh, data inside the action also but the primary purpose of the actions is get data from uh, react js and sending to the uh, reducer and that is the obviously part of uh, redux right so there is a two thumb rules for uh, when we are creating uh, actions in a uh, uh, reducer first one is we must have to pass the type key in the return statement so when we creating the function that is so called uh, action right uh, we must have to return something and there is a key this there is a must be a key with the name of type i will tell you how we can do that and if you will remove that but what will happen i will tell you that also right and second thing is that type key must with sync with the reducer so now what is the reducer that i will tell you in the next part so currently you can understand that uh, when we are getting data from uh, react js we have to send this data to the reducer via action and how will uh, we identify that in which reducer we have to send this data that will be identified with the that type key because the type key will same in the reducer as well as in the action right you will get a practical example of this but you must have to remember these two points right because these are the thumb rules and we always have to remember the thumb rules okay so now let's uh, jump on the diagram let what we are going to do in this uh, complete section like how we can get the data from uh, uh, react js to action and how we will pass it right so there is a very ordinary example you always see that uh, in e-commerce website we have an option to just uh, show, show there that how many items we have in a cart right currently there is a zero so maybe there is a three item by default so here you can see that we uh, this is the completely uh, header component you can see that right and in the header component maybe this is a different section and this is the completely different section with the remove card so if i'm remove something from here 
how this uh, bucket that just get to know that the one card is removed obviously with the redux so if i just click on the remove the count from three to one should be uh, two here right so uh, that we can do with the redux and let's say with a similar way we have an option of add to cart so let's say if i'm just putting here add to cart and item is by default three there then three plus one it should be four and after that if i just again click on this add to cart the item should be four plus one equal to five so we will try to achieve this same functionality we will just make a add to cart button i am not going to make this complex ui in this video but in the upcoming part i will definitely do that i will just make a simple add to cart button and on the click of that button we will uh, send this data to the action and in the upcoming part we will show these item count there also right so what what we are going to do in this uh, video uh, uh, this section and uh, i just want to show you one more thing that how actually data will be processed just so here you can see that this is our view part this is you can see that our react js component so let's say we have lots of component here and in this part we have a those component add to cart button right we have a button here so this is the component 1 2 3 4 5 6 right and you want to uh, get the count in the component 4 here right you want to count that 2 3 4 you want to count here so when i will just click on uh, some uh, button click firstly data will send to the action right here if you want to make some uh, process or you are, want to apply some logic you can do that after that this data will be sent to the reducer and reducer will collect all this data on every click to the store so here we will just uh, we have a complete data like first uh, item second item third item or fourth item all data will be are stored here and we can get this count here so how this is actually will process so what we will do do in this part that part action we will create an action function then we will uh, call this action function on a button click from here right so now let's uh, move on the code so you know that in a uh, last part we created a one file which is action action dot js so i am creating a function here const add to cart right it can be a normal function or it can could, it could be a arrow function that's totally up to you so let's say i'm just making a console dot one and uh, i'm just just putting here something let's say action is called and we can return something let's say i just return here hello right that is pretty simple now you can see that this is basically a action but this is a completely plain javascript function and if we can export it and where we can get this export so what do you have to do here first of all let's import this uh, action file here import something from uh, redux action and here we can simply put there mm, add to cart function name right you can import it that's fine and one more thing guys uh, you can see that we are getting the output here so we don't need all these stuff so i am removing all these stuffs from here and i'm creating a button here the button click let's simply put here some text let's say add to cart all right so can i directly call this function from on click event not actually so we have to use here uh use dispatch hook so how we can do that import something from react redux and let's use here use dispatch so let's take a const you can put any name to this const like function called called execute dispatch i'm putting in the name dispatch right dispatch means we are sending something from here to some another place so we are sending data from our react js to redux action 
so let's use here use dispatch and now if you want to see there everything is working fine there is a no error at all so now let's do the one thing let's create a own click event and here let's use a dispatch and what we can put here inside dispatch add to cart and now let's see is it working or not so you will find there is an error i will tell you why this is error actually coming and i will just click on it action is called that is perfectly fine but we actually miss something from here the type was missing actually here right so uh, how we can do that i already told you there we must have to pass a type key in return statement so how we can pass it directly directly come back here so just create a ret return object and from here we can just pass a type key and what we have to pass here that should be sync with the redux oh sorry reducer right that i will tell you why this is uh, come because how will a uh, reducer get to know that when i should call so how uh, actually action will call the uh, reducer also so they will identify with the type if action and reducer are the same type then they will call each other right so let's call here add to cart and uh, same way i can return something here uh, let's say data in data i can just pass here let's say hello now you will find that this is perfectly working fine there is a no error at all all right so we call that but we did not pass data from app to the uh, action right so what i'm going to do here i am just making some dummy data let's say product and uh, in this product i am putting your name let's say iphone uh, category or something you can put here um, mobile then uh, price you can put here any random price and uh, last one is color so let's say color is red so i am passing this data to add to cart right and here i can get it so i am just getting this with the data parameter and let's print this data here also and uh, now if i just click over it you can see that in action gold and we got that data also again we we are able to add so whenever i will click click over it we will get the data in action action will send this data to the reducer and reduce, reducer will store this data to the redux store all right so now we can send this data directly to the uh, action uh, reducer right it will still work fine and we will write this uh, reducer in the next part so if key and value are same so we don't need to just mention like this it will still work fine like if we just put a directly data there all right so uh, if uh, you already know something about uh, redux right then i'm very sure that uh, you are thinking that why i am not making a constant file here why i just put a type string uh, uh, directly type as a string see i'll tell you in the next part because you may know that how actually we can make constant file and how this actually work but if i'm going to create uh, one more file fresher or beginners will actually get more confused so i will create the uh, reducer first then i will show you that how we can do that so if you are watching the uh, redux tutorial first time then don't worry everything is working fine all right so that's all for this part and uh, thank you for watching this video and please keep support me by like this video uh, subscribe my channel and uh, provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box and you can get this code in description uh, on a github link is given in the description box thank you so much